Yo, 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 hopefully everything works. It's been a while last time I streamed, but yo, my mans, ladies and everyone. Welcome to the Necro Online. Uh, what, whatever it is. Yeah, oh yeah, Marshall Unfield Reborn, part two, Electric Boogaloo stream. I am Mr. Konglord, your main man here, and about to stream uh, the game between Hunters of the Fjordlands, FJRD. Wait a minute, that's, that's not a short of the. Well, whatever. Against the uh, CDU, Critical Unit Damage, uh, Critical Damage Unit Team A. And Team A, because CDU does have two teams in this tournament. But, um. Oh, I'm, I'm so rusty. I'm, <laughs> I'm so rusty doing this. On top of that, I'm alone right now, and I haven't tested in a while, so forgive me the cringy things I might say. But I'll try to keep it to minimum. But anyway, MOR2, Marshall Olympiad Reborn, or whatever, Rebirth. I have to stop saying whatever, but uh, I don't remember what the R stands for. Yeah. Tournament's name, but anyway, this is some 8 versus 8 goodness uh, 2 max from each weight class, 8 players, each side, no tonnage restrictions And uh, yeah, they're going fast, one already locked themselves About to go in bros, and also as I said, I'm here alone right now, but I might have a mine man to go cast soon, so that will reduce the cringe by a little. Uh, what should I say? Oh, yes. Um, a unique thing about this tournament is that, uh, well, as you can see right now, it's Conquest Canyon, but... Uh, I think it drops. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, drops two and four. I think are supposed to be domination instead of conquest. And we haven't seen domination in a long while in comp, so it'll be interesting to see how people played out compared to conquest. Uh, I had my personal experience a couple hours ago, and. Uh, I don't know what to say, really. I feel like uh, domination enables uh, pushing by a lot, because there's like only one spot you have to control in the map, instead of five. And... Uh, already arguing about it in chat. <laughs> oh, and also I need to make sure that I accidentally... Well, I hope that I can mute... I have the stream website on, and uh, it's probably gonna like mirror my voice soon, so I just muted the tab. But anyway, we got our main man. Team two also seems to be green, but they are not yet. I don't think they locked. They haven't said so. Okay, going in five. Let's go in. I hope all the uh, voice settings and stuff like that are fine. As I said, it's been a while since I uh, streamed or casted, and last time I did, I think there was like some uh, uh, audio problems. So, uh, well, if there are any complaints in the chat, and I'm just gonna call you a troll for the first time, but then you'll just have to insist that there's some problems with the voice. Right, the audio things, but uh, what are the hotkeys? There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Excellent. I still remember everything. GLHF has been called, and here we go. You didn't really get to talk about the teams uh, much, other than just mention that CDU does have two teams. Uh, I haven't seen uh, the blue side. Hold on. How do I turn on the? Oh, oh, the, ah, the game hasn't started yet. That's why I cannot turn on the, like the scores on the left and right. That I almost forgot. Team, bam. What's going on? 
But yeah, FJR beam. I don't. Sorry, I don't remember what <laughs> the correct order of the letters. But um, a lot of people I haven't seen. Of course, player unknown. Everyone knows him. He he's like the guy that made that like a really, uh, really like famous. Uh, game called player unknowns battlegrounds he decided to play some mechware online so we got a like a famous guy here right now but of course yeah, i guess i also have some famous people well i mean everyone's famous now because they're playing comp that's, that's the point but anyway let's see what's up uh, epsilon uh mr flea probably small pulse god of course uh they're capping epsilon with the fire starter and seems like the blue side is gonna go Heavy middle and uh, oh, interesting chart. It's not capping yet. Well, of course, it can be pretty unsafe to just like run in there immediately. But oh, look at that. We got a conga line up here. Uh, pusha pusha here. Let's go. Let's see what's gonna happen. I, okay, th this is a pretty good approach. Like, no damage done. Uh, they, they've been scouted, but there's no damage on them yet. And they're gonna be, like, in, like, 300-200 meter range. Compared okay, the Grasshopper, for example, is ER large. Already in brawl range. All the Executioner's health for this. There we go. Oh, back got scratched a little bit. Okay. Blues seem to, like, spread around. Yeah, I think that's fine. Maybe, but uh, oh, uh, a little too cocky walking. There's a good firing line on CDU's side. Two annihilators shooting really hard. The executioner is gonna get held and soon dead. That's gonna be a big kill. Okay, there we go. Executioner is dead. The uh, largest neck is history on blue side. Let's see how the annihilators survive. I think they're ER large. Yeah. No, oh, they're being legged. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, Timberwolf must die quickly. It's gonna get held. That's uh, gonna be good for red team. Excellent, good job. Still three people down on reds when... Okay, two people down on blue now. <laughs> the other enemy... Yeah, there goes the other Annihilator. He's going fast. Black Flanners did. He was legged. Legged. Black Flanner is mega dead against bro. Oh, this boiler. My man, who will be tennis room six boiler? Big close range click. Oh, I watched him right now. But a little too close, probably. And there's, there's the no ghosted catapult. Excellent brawl build. Chaos. Uh, Red team also has the fire starter alive with this flea still. Follow the flea. Okay, never mind, he's dead. No need to follow him. Where's the fire starter? Legend. Oh, there, there we go. Was hidden by the like the nameplate of the dead guy. There was a really good push from the blue side. Uh, what can I say? I'm gonna go back to the fire starter as soon as something starts happening. Uh, good job with the. Red Max here backing off from the ridge line, but uh, they were all in the same spot. Usually, you defeat Bush. Uh, it is that like uh, you spread your mechs around, like one guy could be here, another guy here, and another keeps rotating away. But they did have like double ammo, they really cannot rotate away, so sh they should have like foreseen this happening. That's a you got much light guns. Ah, good, good build. Good build. My main man with the big trade build. Of course he's dead. They didn't really get the trade. <laughs> That's good Christine. Oh, fire starter legs open already. Ah. No looking good, bros. Oh, I got the Oh, nice, nice. Let's go. Nice kill, nice kill. And though it does look like a defeat. Still got a really good kill in the end. <laughs> nice push from the blue side. Really nice. Go. I press the publish just in case. I can copy that. 
code from Dairy Fail. Like, look, look at that farm, Dervish. My main man, 724 damage. Destroyer of Worlds. I haven't played in a while. I don't remember if Dervish was buffed, but he does have the missile bay doors. So, extra armor there. Overall, I don't really think, like, uh, neither side really didn't, like, do bad. And, uh, I would say it could have been like really close to a different outcome if CDU had like those trade necks spread around much more. They had like three people in one spot, so they just pushed into that like clump and cleared it. Let's go. Let's go back. Let's give FJRD a win. I've already. Oh, Mr. Star, hello. Hello, sir. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I, I saw your messages and in chat. I'm like, oh, okay. I need to. I needed to get uh, some quietness happening behind me, but I'm more than happy to join you. <laughs> yeah. For, yeah uh, here we go. Okay. 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 Um. Just gonna tell them. That, uh, Star. I'll invite you right away. Awesome. Yes. 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 Uh, there you are. My man, my man. Uh, do you know what the second map is? <laughs> oh, never mind, Thermaline, Thermaline. I, I, I do yeah. remember. I played this today. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we, well, uh, yeah, but that's been a, it's been a minute since that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we're, 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 should we on Thermaline domination? Hold on, I'm gonna add your name on the stream. How do I do this? properties? Uh, you're not honor of your star wolf. Different kind of wolf. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but uh, you, of course, missed the first drop, but um, probably caught the radio cast, but it's confusing oh, yeah, as hell, and like, I have no partial, idea what I'm talking about. Partial radio, and I'm, I'm watching the, the, the match itself right now, so. Yeah, yeah, but uh, recap, even to the, like, the other folks, um, uh, I'm gonna give you my map stretch link just in case I end up using it. Uh, and I think I'll do it now. We will do a quick recap while they're doing their things. Got it up. So there we go. I'm gonna do a quick recap of this. That uh, F J D R R. Gotcha. Uh, F F J R D. Okay. Yes, that's the team. They started team yeah, one. The, the, yep, yeah, Fjordlands. Yes, my man's it from the Fjordlands. <laughs> no, actually, it's Hunters of the Fjordlands. <laughs> hunters of the Fjord. Hunters of the Fjord. Yes. yes. But then um, Team Two, CDUA, uh, aggressive push. Everyone there with like a laser vomit or SRM or stuff like that. Merms and CDU positioned uh, right there. I think someone was here. We saw the Timberwolf there, and then like lights scattered around, like right here. Uh, blue team pushed over here. Uh, there were a couple CDU traders there that could not escape, and they got wiped out fairly quickly. That yep, was the that story. right now. That was the story of that game. <laughs> yeah, the brawling. Um, brawling has been a, a big thing just from the practices I've done, the uh, scrims I've done, and then even our match earlier. Uh, brawling on this on the uh, canyon has uh, proved to be very useful. Yeah, I, I, I will not say it's safe, but uh, it's uh, quite reliable since uh, if uh, it fails, it usually means that the enemy team is also brawling or that they didn't like position perfectly against the push. And uh, as I said in the stream earlier, uh, I think the red team would have defeated the push if they had spread their mechs more. Um, I'm gonna mark them with like red assault mix, like one guy there, one guy there, and I think like rest of them should have rotated like this, but they didn't have the speed with the double any. Right. Yeah, but anyway, if you're long range against Brawl, you wanna rotate event. If someone's gonna be attacked, make sure that it's like the only guy being attacked at the same time, and everyone should be like shooting and helping. Anyway, my mans are this time not reading up as fast as the last game. Oh, and yeah, this is going to be domination next. Yes. Do you remember if 
like you're calling locked before someone ready but oh there we go but anyway yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so. i still wait I, I i still wait for team one to call lock you know i give them i, I give them the warning of the five minute timer <laughs> and then uh once they're locked i give the team two the five minute warning and then i even I'll, I'll be nice and i'll be like hey three minutes has lapped you got two left and just just because it, get, it gets them on their toes quick and <laughs> yeah. not that i'm trying to pressure them but you know there is a five minute timer <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i was gonna ask do you remember has there like last time there was domination in comp oh <laughs> because um, i don't i don't and i've been here forever yeah <laughs> no i mean i've been i've been i've been around for six years and even watching everything from then i can't remember um i of course didn't do anything with the the um or two or the original um martial olympia reborn um so this is the first year that i've uh, participated or even watched this tournament so um yeah kind of new to me yeah i have to say that the i don't remember there being domination the first season the first season was uh, almost the same rules, except for like no domination and both teams locked. Both teams locked. So both are locked. And of course, this this week we do have the uh, the oops little mess up with the uh, uh, this the seating or you know team one being uh, uh you know or team one being in uh, in, in the one number one the top spot for uh, drops one two and three and then team uh, going down to team two spot for drops. Uh, Four, uh, four and five whereas next week it'll be changed and it'll be uh team one will be in uh the top spot for the first two then they go to team two for the second two and then back to the first one for the fifth drop hey interesting why is that like what does it matter uh, I, I well i don't know well you know would, because they're not being on both sides of the map um for all of it uh or for you know you get you know taking turns on each side i don't think it matters but then, I don't know. It's I, the you know, the rule, rule, rule books are put together uh, by a group of people. So um, yeah, let them do what they want to do. <laughs> Again, the startups taking a little bit. I think someone had this play on a poster. Or, I mean, you yeah, can't really yeah, blame yeah. them. This game like runs like it decides to run really well on some people, and like some people have super computers and run like twenty FPS. Oh, we uh, we do have one disconnect. Oh. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, hold the call. Let's see, who, who was the disconnect that you see? I didn't see anything. Uh, see, I, yeah, I know it's on the other side. Well, we'll find out soon. Hey, this is like plenty of time to look at their mix. Yeah. So yeah, low life twenty three on the uh, on the CDU side has disconnected. We're waiting to get the uh, wait to see the reconnect message. Or the mix. Oh, machine gun mislinks. Let's go. Let's go. One of them is heavy machine guns, and the other is normal machine guns. Hmm. Less guns. Interesting. Interesting. Warhammer. Two ultra five six ER mediums. Uh, uh, okay. I guess uh, probably standard engine. Big standard engine. A little anemic. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. For your reference, I'm looking at CDMX. There's Black Video. Quad AC5, my main man. Love that build. Crypto. Ultraviolet in uh, 8LB2s. There's Annie. Oh, <laughs> okay, look at Annie. That's Chad. That's Chad. AC2 is mixed with Rack 2s. My man with ER <laughs> mediums. That's Giga Chad. Hunchback with Quad ER large. Pre standard Hunchback build. Shadow Cat. <gasps> oh, look at the Shadow Cat. Look at the Shadow Cat. Wait a minute. Why does it show blue? Well, well, whatever. Look at the. Take a look at CD Shadow Cat. That's Chad. Giga Chad. Giga <laughs> Chad. Two machine guns, two ER largest, one Lerm 20. I bet you never seen that one before. All right, there you go. Uh, we have the reconnect from low life. Um, so Crypto's calling us start at 1300 or 13 minutes. 1300. <laughs> 13 minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. Uh, Go take a look at the blue sides, middles, but look at the Piranha's bolt on. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> the bolters are bigger oh, than the mech. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're sticking up a little bit there, aren't they? Ooh, that's a good one. But, okay, but Piranha machine guns, Afterful SRMs, my main man, Orion, AC20 SRM, Storm Crew, Small Pulse. Okay, this is Brawl Part 2, Guardwell Edition. Okay. 
Charger, That's my man. Roll. Oh no, they have double laser AMS, which means that Shadow Cat Lerms are owned. I'm pretty sure a single Lerm cannot defeat double laser AMS. Ouch, unlucky, unlucky. Although the Charger pick, I really love that mech. Like, I had so much fun playing that in uh, ISC. Not sure if it's gonna be too viable in like this mixed deck tournament where you can have clan mechs, but in ISC, dude, that was so fun. Right? Yeah. Just uh, walk, right away, walk yeah. people and click. But yes, go on. No, say so right now we've got the uh, Top Cat and the Shadowhawk doing some uh, ER large, you know, the wonderful blue laser training. Uh, but he, he's also got some lerms to try to annoy them with over here. But <laughs> yeah, he's sitting. He's sitting up up here on the south spire, looking into the circle. So he's got some Overwatch. Uh, Depending on what they decide to try and poke out at. A nice uh, stack I'll... of blue people. In the I want to say, they're, they're all just kind of in, in this little caveat here, just waiting for something. Uh, uh, know, they they want to see. Oh, Darbles. CD, CDU's just kind of sneaking in out of yeah. crypto. Hopefully, you know, they'll focus on crypto here in the front. Let's see how it goes. There's a, lots of and, DACA into like a tight corridor. Oh. This might. Her, yeah. Orion's almost dead. A, Orion's yeah, held. Push out there. He switched. I mean, really good opening brawl, from CDU. Brawl mode, brawl mode activated here. Yeah, but now they closed in and okay, they got the first kill, but it can still turn. Crypto's low in the dark. Crypto's yeah, dead. Yeah, crypto's down. Annie's leg. Ay ay ay. We sorry, Danny. Leg. We sorry. Oh, he's and dead. Now down. <laughs> Black Widow. About to get leg. Black Widow dead. Warhammer hammer goes down. Oh, the legs are going like pop, pop, pop. Just, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. CD, CDU still has lots of health. Uh, Fjordlands are taking a lot of damage between them, all of them. Um, except the Javelin. Javelin's still at 100%. So he's, uh, he's out playing out in the, out in the side down there. I'm shit, I can slur me. Hey, come here, missile. He's gotta, he's gotta do something. <laughs> Oh, Mislink's held. Ouch. Not good. Oh, leg and dead. Three, two, one. Bang. Yeah. Miscalculated. Okay, yeah. there he goes. <laughs> uh, the other Mislink's is halved. Oh, Stone no, Crow dead. CDU's nice. Died. You got Chris. I and mean, you've got th two mechs that are almost almost full health. Uh, they're Mislink's on CD yeah. side. He's surviving so, so well. Surviving so well, <laughs> like right now. But he's fighting like uh, Max with nothing except like okay, yeah. the Orion actually had everything <laughs> still. Yeah, I, I, figured, think. I, I figured the Mistlings wasn't gonna last much longer, but uh, you know. Oh, what and, what's and going on? You, and, ah, and now uh, you now you have the uh, the countdown, the focus, and where you have to pay attention to being in that circle. Oh yeah, so, they they, they lost hunter. all the dudes in the middle. That's it. Yeah, it just cleared it out. So. So, uh, Hunters of the Fjordlands taking this match. I like the damage. It's, it, like, damage was, was even again, and I feel like CDU did have a really good opening there. Oh, dude. But, uh, I, was, I, I was actually surprised, because if you looked where CDU was, I mean, they were all bunched in just that little area. And, you know, it's, a, it's not easy to all of a sudden say, okay, we need to move and get out now and get over. But, yeah. They could have uh, used a little more tactic there they like walk like four people in one blob there and the brawl dudes got into like brawl range immediately if like one guy like went to poke and the rest of them will have like spread around like 500 meters away the full tab again looked a little different um especially with that really good opening but yeah damage wise they have good numbers across the board nice to see that um, so Winscape saying the MRBC last uh last has had domination. Uh Crass is saying that yeah, the more one did have domination on it. Oh, dude, I played uh, MOR one and I don't remember <laughs> uh, I have some like uh, yeah, Alzheimer's. Let's go. It's all good. All right, so we're switching back to conquest and switching over to Forest Colony Classic. Oh, all right. Well, thank you because I will not have to remember that. <laughs> First no colony, first colony, <laughs> and they're still gonna stay on these sides, yes? Correct, correct. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, bless you. Yep. That was a, not a sneeze, it was a oof. <laughs>
Uh, now, for, for the most part, again, we saw you know, both sides doing a more of a brawler tactic with you know a couple um, snipers. Um, it, it's it, it's nicer to see two similar on both sides because then you'll be able to you know see how it'll happen a little more. Um, unlike you know, the one earlier where you had one that was me, you know brawl to medium uh, versus long range and the trying to adjust to the other team's tactics when it's not not that much of a difference becomes very challenging. Um, so, you know, the, our match, we almost had it, almost by the timer earlier, um, but you never know. Oh, wait, you played already? Yes. Oh, cool, cool, my man. Hey, did you win your set? Uh, we did. We won uh, four to one over uh, European Dragoons. Excellent. Good job, my man. So, I know it. Yeah, the, yeah, the, I there, know yeah, it. The, 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 the match we lost was on Tourmaline, and I said, the, we came in with... A little, a little more mid range, um, and they were doing long range, and we were really trapped with where we you know, trying what we could try to adjust and do. It was, it was still really close. We pushed them out of the circle as best we could, um, but it did come down to literally one second left on the timer, or on, the, on capturing the circle. I don't mind me. Great, ma great, great matchup against them. Um, we did do uh, several brawling tactics, which if you go back and watch, uh, was very fun. Um, lots of. Uh, Lots of practice. <laughs> Lots of practice. Yeah, but, um, just don't mind me. I'm just doodling here on the map. And, uh, no worries. No worries. We'll, we'll uh, talk about that a little bit. But uh, quick rundown what happened. Uh, CD Bros sent one guy Spire and Shadow Cat one guy in the G6, whatever you call that. I have no idea. I just call it G6 or like that stupid spot that I hate. And. <laughs> And then, 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 then they're like uh, Dakalans. Uh, I don't remember if it was from Alpha or Bravo, but I don't think that's relevant. They walked into E5, took a peek into like the corridor. It's really good damage at the start, but then like uh, like as if like the damage stopped after the first couple of kills, probably because they right. did lose the Darvo fairly quickly. That's like half of their firepower away there. And they ended up losing that trade there. Oh, well, like I said, the, the idea with um, the CDU being um, in that little tight spot, you know, you have nowhere really, you can, you have nowhere really to go. You don't, ha you don't have much elbow room. So to push out and spread out the way they did, um, I, you know, I was surprised with how quickly they were able to adjust. Um, of course, you know, um, hunters still being able to compensate for that and uh, focusing the first ones coming out. I think where CDU lost a lot of their original armor. Yeah, they... It kind of looked like the Hunters did, like, get caught, like, their pants down. <laughs> but uh, yeah. they reacted really fast and did the correct decision. Like, right there, if you start getting shot by, like, high DPS stuff and you cannot hide, you have to do, you have to do something. You have to go. Right. They're taking their time. There you go, Team 1. Oh, team one says they're locked. Okay, now they're all green. <laughs> Can't call. Remember, guys, don't call lock if uh, your team is not all readied up. So, want to make sure. Huh? And like, I don't know. It's like someone's not locked, like a readied. As when they say locked, and ready is like five seconds later. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, like. Uh, and it comes to like stuff like this, especially in low divisions, like the threading up, locking things, uh, kind of like, uh, aren't really as strict with it as like in the higher divisions, because like there's a lot of new players, for example, they're new to this. There is. So, right. Yeah. All right, well, team, team uh, two Ooh, is locked. Nice. Team one recall, they're locked again, but <laughs> no worries. Yeah, no, and that's the one thing we do want to always see, is we want to see new teams coming in and, and trying, you know, getting into the comps. Um, we welcome everybody into this. You know, for a lot of people, this is like, could be their first time. Uh, we do have rule books that you guys can go check out. You can pr download them, print them, however you'd like to do it. And you know, be sure to go through and read up on them. Um, a lot of the rule books are the same throughout all the competitions. Um, there are little variances throughout it. Um, for example, this one, there's no tonnage limit. Uh, but you're restricted to two, two, you know, two, 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 two. So you've got two, two lights, two heavies, two mediums, uh, two assaults. 
Um, whereas with you know, ISC, you have restrictions on each drop. So there's different variances like that. But overall, um, they're similar. So yeah, get in there, check on those. We do try to keep them updated as much as possible. I, I, I want to say about comp that thing that uh, uh, if comp didn't exist, I probably wouldn't even be playing this game anymore. And uh, <laughs> I think it also applies to most people that do play comp right now that like uh, comp beats quick play and faction like any day that this is like the most fun content you can have on this game. Yeah, a lot of people enjoy the comp. I mean, uh, even Bearclaw, you know, he's like, you know, he, while he somewhat enjoys it and like him and crash you know, there there can be a point of burnout but with how many comps happen throughout the, throughout the year but getting in and casting it just it, there's this whole nother level of excitement <laughs> so partake in it you know us casters you know we, we will partake yeah, uh, I, and I, uh, I, I, we can. I mean about that i i only casting because like uh i think i enjoy watching the game more than playing it at this point that i've been here for so long but i mean, uh, I mean comp, comp playing is also fun but it's probably like more enjoyable for me no pressure yeah. just watching people oh that's a chad <laughs> atlas by the way on cdu side uh, we, yeah over here on uh fieldland side we do have player unknown and uh sean bomb and supernova and uh direwolf doing long range uh Learns. Across the map, blue lasers. Incoming missiles. We got uh, quite a bit of CDU taking the water side. Uh, have a couple of them uh, going around by the ship. They're kind of, you know, they're, they're not as spread out as you know, they hopefully or thankfully are not. So they're they are sticking somewhat close together. The turrets have been deployed. You already mentioned yes, this, but the, yes. <laughs> like the spot, is, they moved like five meters, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they just kind of got a little spot up on a perch and called it good. Um, CDU starting their push around the ship. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! They have some long so range with their Nitro can trade with the dudes AFK in Epsilon. But at this point, Fjordlands just needs to call the targets because uh, the they're spread out on the water side. They're just all open. Oh, Atlas um, is really low already. Like next, uh, yeah, Black, next alpha is death for him. Yep, yeah, Blackjack's down to forty-six percent, still getting lurmed. Uh, the uh, Direwolf and Supernova. Um, the Piranha's coming up to say hi to him now. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Force them down. Go, 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 Bernie man, turn your mech. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Sometimes it can get too exciting and that can happen. Parting hard. Oh no. Piranha is uh, still running around them all over here, but doesn't, I don't know if doesn't realize that uh, he's been learned. Really overpowered. There's four. <laughs> they got four other mechs shooting at him. What's going uh, on? The Black Knights are the destroying people. Down. Oh, and about Black Knights are like double, yeah, like a yeah, tag, tag up with the main man's <laughs> destroying people. Yeah, the Dire Wolf getting focused here by the uh, Miss Links and the Piranha going down. Oh, Piranha's leg, leg is practically dead. Miss Link's still like some health still, but can really easily see these open. A open. Raven going toe to toe with the Hunchback here, uh, but then of course here comes the Black Knights. To uh, assist with taking down the hunchback. <laughs> Ooh, nice! Oh, almost made it on the other side. Nice jump if he did. Ran out of juice, and there goes the hunchback. Yeah. Huggins giving the hugs. Goodbye. Right, Super so never survived. Uh, Look at his hell. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand how. Uh, but you know. If that works, uh, we so, still, still have so the piranha. Good at the game. Piranha. Oh, we should revive. So where, where is? Let's see. Let's find the piranha. Well, piranha's uh, seen better days. <laughs> He's being bullied by um, so much. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, that's interesting. I clicked. Uh, the piranha's piranha. got no legs. <laughs> yeah. What is this? The piranha has no legs. Oh, there we go. I... Okay. Well, there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Interesting. I've never seen that happen. Not me either. It's no. a feature. Yeah, I, I think he was like so dead that like 
the game showed the, at least the, 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 paper, the, the paper doll just decided that there needed to be no legs at this point yeah, it was mega dead not the band i mean he was mega dead that's the term so damage wise um I don't... <laughs> wow oh. bravo Bra bravo for uh the bravo lance or fjord lands um hitting the high 500s um <laughs> With the Raven, Raven being 530, the Black Knight 535, uh, the Dire Wolf on Charlie Lance for them, almost 700 damage. So uh, you can see a lot of that, uh, I think, is where the, uh, that, that made the, the point of where, where, where this match was going to go. Uh, one thing I want to note is that the winning team's mislink zero damage, and I don't recall there even being mislinks. <laughs> I guess, yeah, he was just capping 1 minute 33 seconds on capture yeah, time. Yeah, minute 33. Just capping, I didn't even realize he existed because of that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know I'll, uh, I'll I'll say that during uh, one of our practices, I hid the entire time <laughs> on, on a map. And that was my job, was to sit there and hold the circle while uh, the other team, or the rest of the team was running around focusing on their team, kept them out of the circle, and uh, it actually worked. Uh, so it was... It was boring on my part, except it was uh, enjoyable watching them run right by me, not even seeing me. Um, but yeah, yeah, if that becomes the job that you get to do, there you go. Uh, next map, what is it? I know it's on. Oh, never mind. I know Grim. Grim. Uh, yeah, Gr yeah, Grim Plexus domination. Yeah, I remember just because when today I played, I was screaming like, "Why is Grim Plexus domination rotation?" That's how I remembered that. It's this map. <laughs> because if you go if you go back and watch our match, you can see how much fun it can be. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I'm gonna guess slurs. N nope. <laughs> I guess it's wrong. No lerms. But a very a very enjoyable almost textbook uh, brawl. Brawl push. And uh, yeah, it, that it was a lot of fun. Hey, we also got draw pushed, but it didn't matter. We already won three games before that. Yep. And still, uh, PGI, if you watch this, give us a swap teams button, please. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was like, uh, I remember there was like some like uh, janky script for swapping, and it like worked almost never. So. Yeah, I don't even try that. <laughs> now, the, the, one, the one thing that there's an advantage of here uh, is that all members of the units are in the same units, so that does make it a little easier when you have a, you know, a, 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 a Skittles you know, type team where you've got members from multiple different units. It becomes a little more challenging. Still yeah, think like again. They, get, yeah, they got their person in. Out of the way. There we go. I think the duels are already done, but what happened last game was that, hold on. Oh, I was looking there, typing in the chat, uh, in the lobby chat about stuff, but anyway. Um, what happened was uh, P1 was the hunters from the Garlands, or yes, that, yeah, that's the thing. Yes, ex excellent, I actually remembered it. Uh, well, they positioned two ER larges, right? Uh, next to their spawn, moved like five meters, and that's it. And the rest of them rotated like towards middle, uh, took some like spots around the beach, while CDU bros uh, like uh, pushed from both. And as soon as like they saw something, decided, okay, that's the target, let's go. Uh, but uh, I feel like they got caught in some really nasty crossfire on top of the. Uh, Head pushing dude, Atlas got like really wrecked before it even got to do anything. So yeah, the hard, the hard, the, the hard part here doing the water push for uh, for CDU is this whole area here. Oh, not don't want to touch not the air. Leave the air alone. No, stop touching the air. This whole area in here, I mean, as they were pushing through, there were they're just they're in the open for all of uh, hunters being able to just you know focus on certain little targets and taking out. And even just knit, just doing a little bit of damage at a time is going to just start whittling them down. Then they get into Delta Four and they just get pushed on. So you got to be real careful with the open areas, uh, really on that water side. And 
we're going to the next game. Already. Yeah. Okay, well, during the, the chat. Pushes, push, pushes on the water side, I'll say, have to be quick. You can't hesitate. Yeah, get everyone there and go and get through it quick. Um, try to catch the other team off guard or so they you know, don't be so spread out to where they can focus on individual targets. I will also add to that that uh, you might want to optimize uh, your builds for water push a little bit more since there is some like range to catch up. Uh, I would say that instead of uh, like Merms and stuff like Merms LBX, uh, bring Daka because then like as soon as you see something, you're most likely already in your optimal. I would say a Daka right. push with like uh, heavy machine gun lights will do the trick right there. Like, uh, let's say that they did have like two or three Daka mechs and they had like the Dire and Supernova on the hill standing there. They will have been pretty hurt because they were in like an open spot just turreting away in like mechs that can do like some peekaboo. If you get met with DPS, it's not gonna end well. Yeah. Anyway, next game. That's history already. Okay, there's already a Chad spotted on the red side, the Stalker. That's a weird build. I like it when there's like lots of different weapons, even though the like medium laser and medium pulses are almost almost the same thing. The same thing, but almost the same thing. They like the names are similar. But... Uh, you, I, I will say when you get to Crypto's uh Crypto's mech over here, he's uh he's running one that we did not, oh. have not seen, and uh, I look forward to seeing uh, how the other team reacts to that one. Oh, they're bringing the big ass shooters. There's a, even a raven with double dark. I, I knew it. I was gonna say that. I'm gonna say that this <laughs> raven is double dark, and, but I didn't say it. So I. Yeah. But oh, I, we've got, I, we've got... I, I Tiny hunch. We've got we've got we've got crypto in the wrath running quad LRM. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I, that is uh, that is a build we actually talked about. In, um, our our team we were talking about LRM builds. And oh, there's one we two. Up. It's a, a look. There's two dark ravens. Oh no! Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, so they so they're yeah they're. Uh, we'll see how that goes for them. Playing narcs. Crypto just has to get in position. Okay, so the main condition for CDO here, obviously, is that they, like, get the LRM in peace without being pushed oh. in. The other thing that they have, they've got, uh, uh they have LRM Nova Cat on their side as well. Uh, LRM Mad Cat, they're, yeah, they're, it's, this is all LRM builds. There's your Narker, it's Stealth, uh, and then, you know, Laser Vomit, Laser Vomit. There's some okay Narker. spreading. Uh, like the, there's some okay spreading with the LRM mix. I, I would say a little more could be nice, but this is a good start that they're not like exactly in the same spot. Except that the two Nova cats are. Oof. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There, goes the, there goes the rain. <laughs> Bring it in. Oh, there, there's... oh, the... oh he got late by LRMs. Goodbye. There is one. <laughs> that, that, that is LRM focus right there, folks. There we go. Uh, here we go, the push, the push, the push. They need yeah, some narcs, need some narcs. Yep. They get to narc everyone, they'll be really good. Say they, if they don't focus on getting the lurmers down, the lurmers oh. are just gonna keep raining it in. Oh, both the Nova Cats are like being ranged already. That's not good. Oh, Phoenix Hawk's dead on CDU side. Archer. No. <laughs> uh, well, it was, well, Archer's, it was moving in now. It is. Oh no. Oh. oh no. Matt got that fast and in ranged. Not looking good, Rose. Yep, Arctic Wolf just uh, overheated there. Warhammer. Oh, there you go. Lermers are getting pushed now. Nova Cat goes down. Crypto's down to 56%. There you hey. go. Shadowhawk's taking out the fast here. Here we go, the Ravens. <laughs> yeah. Narc Bros. And no more Nervers on our side. Hey, they're fighting with the Yars Malls. Let's go, let's go. Oh, ouch. Goodbye. One Raven down. I, while, while I totally 
uh, 100% respect the idea of a heavy lerm push and I enjoy watching that um, it's try, you, you gotta keep the enemy team away from the lermers um, even if they are, if you're, you lose your narkers um, you know you can still get your own targets and still take them out but um, yeah it... uh, like again it was like a good start for CDU but uh, there was like a there's no wall to stop like them from like battling towards the learners. Like uh, yeah, I'm, I think this double can... raven was overkill. Yeah, you when you can see the three top damage on the CD side were in fact the learn boats. Um, but then yes, not having protection for the learn boats can cause problems. Yeah, again, I would say that if they. Uh, I would have said that uh, they will have won this, maybe, if uh, a little better spread and uh, also some mech optimization again. Oh, also, what's the next map? Um, well, we oh, just oh, 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 oh. so Conquest, Viridian Bog. Yeah, yeah, but okay, anyway, I'm gonna go back to yeah. what I was gonna say. That uh, again, like, uh, you're gonna have the Lerms, okay, uh, but... Uh, there needs to be some kind of a wall, a deterrent that makes the enemy that, okay, if we push into the lerms, we might actually die. Like, uh, yeah. and that will have been, like, again, machine gun lights, and you can still have the narc there if, for example, you bring, like, a black lanner with machine gun, small pulse narc, even two of those. That'll be nice. Anything, anything that could protect the lerm boats. Yeah. My DPS machine guns excellent, but there was like a Phoenix Hawk was medium pulse. That's not my DPS. That's more like a skirmish build that you like uh, deal some damage without dying yourself. And uh, the Ravens, well, they were like zero firepower. They get narks for sure, but like they are not a deterrent for the enemy to right. like walk towards. And I. Well, they're, they're... <laughs> No, th those are lunch. We call them lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the last week, Arctic Wolf. That was kind of had the idea, but uh, it was just one mech. Like, SRMs also work fine, since, you know, you can, like, if you get to butt blast someone, it's work for him. Right. Bog, bog, bog. Next up is bog. Yeah, no, we, we love, I'm saying, I love playing in the Arctic Wolf just because of the, the splat. You know, run around, splat, keep going, yeah. Keep that trying to keep your enemy turning around, can't focus on you, and then dress your team gets to take them out. So that's one of mechs that I wish I had, but I don't, and I never remember to purchase it whenever there's a sale. But uh yeah, Arctic Wolf, I think it has like the best click damage that goes like over one hundred kph in the game. Yeah. Yeah, no, and when, when we when we when we do soup queue and we uh we get ours up, oh, they have a disconnect on the forward side. Um that when we uh when we do soup queue and we get it we want we want a wolf pack, that's what we do. We all hop into our sheet of ones, SRMs just bomb it and just run over everybody. It's wonderful. I'm gonna kick the disco because I don't think he can be invited back if it's like that disconnect state. I'm not sure this might be like some fairy tale I've been told, but uh, well, just we in had, case. we actually had um no oh, actually we had uh we had a, a dire dire on our team uh, earlier had a disconnect and was able to get back in thankfully um but yeah no you never know it's always easier for them just to reinvite anyway yeah. that's why they can take Lance command start a command. And team one is locked. Excellent. About to go home one last time. Read and Borg. Okay, gonna predict. Well, it, it, it's it's not a prediction. Uh, look at the map, but I don't like. I don't know what to draw this time. But the uh, oh, there we go. Uh, what I was gonna say is that. It's not a prediction really anymore because uh, the Hunters have done this like three out of four games, which is just an SR push. 
So yep. not a prediction anymore, but I'm going to say there's going to be some pushing. This is a really good map for pushing. And a lot of the strats I've seen on this on Viridian Bog, specifically um, after you know everyone being in IC or during the IC, was uh, trying to do mid, you know, some mid, some long range, getting your uh, Overwatch up on the sniper sniper tower. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, actually, hold on. They're, they're loading in, but I'm just gonna mark oh, quickly. Oh, here I'm, I'm gonna mark like important spots for both teams, like uh, where you might see people trading from, for example. If, um, some of these spots need jump jets. Of course, like the middle hills are for both sides, for space. But if they have trade, you can expect them in any of those spots. But anyway, let's go to the game. Marvels, they're back. Yeah. Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, yo, 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 there's a look yeah. at that timber wolf. That's super, super Chad. Yeah, super Chad. Lerm's AC5 machine gun for ER medium <laughs> lasers. Let's go, my man. Let's go. All poles, pro vehicle. It's nice, nice. Where did I didn't catch the? Oh, okay. It's and this the is the LP. first time I'm seeing. Uh, let's see. Let's try and hop into the this mag here because I'm curious now. Interesting Hellbringer. Wait, this this Hellbringer is like when Clans released this. Uh, uh, I mean, when the Hellbringer oh. pack released that that was like a build some people ran. Crypto's bringing major. Uh... Daka vomit. Um, he's got the the, the ultraviolet with a bunch of uh, LB2s. Um, something I'm used to seeing mostly in uh, soup queue. Uh, but very viable here if he gets in the right position and gets a good view on everything. Um, I'm, I'm expecting him to. Uh, someone's having a little bit of a latency issue here. They're uh, hopping around a little bit. Oh, there's some Giga Chat Daka on right side. Both the Annies have like quad AC5 and two AC2s with AMS. So the Timberwolf with Lerms, tough luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, they, if the Timberwolf can get to a good position and actually you know, get targets. See if your lands over here. Oh, oh Double ja Annies. Javelin might, <laughs> might be in trouble. Let's see. The lights are okay. Never mind. The lights are not hesitated. They're going in. Not good for the javelin. Yeah. If if yeah, he gets legged, it's over. That's oh yeah, yeah left yeah. leg really low, really low leg already. Fire starter helping. Machine gun. Uh, javelin. Goes. So yeah, the fire starter ran dead. away, leaving the javelin. Javelin just got focused. So yeah. This guy's dead. Adios, the javelin's, the javelin's kind of out of the game. <laughs> right leg almost done, and more shot. There we go. The uh, javelin gets taken out by the fire starter. Like I, I knew he was spotted already, but he was hiding like behind the truck, so he didn't see like the other guys. And I was already having the hunch that this is not gonna end well. <laughs> that he didn't like uh, bail out or at least like look at when the enemies are gonna attack him. But right, looks like anyway, the, uh, yep, there you go. Daka, Daka. Moving back up back into the main view here. I have got some hill versus so, hill action here. Yeah, Hunter's taking the uh, the center the center hill. See most most of the CDU are on the uh, northern hill here. Uh, Quick scratch. Several, uh, uh, well, uh, most of the hunters have all dropped down between. They're uh, trying to push that north hill. They, they split a little bit. They're sending one Annie to the left. The rest of the force is going right side. I yeah. think this is good. This is good. Multiple uh, levels. Uh, Veagle, nice. the, the Veagle getting destroyed at the top of the hill, not moving. Ouch. He's down. He died fast. On uh, timbers. Bounty, I... yeah, bounty hunter now getting focused. Oh, he's yeah, walking okay. around. Yeah, he's the one I was saying. I was saying uh, seemed like he was having some uh, latency issues, but noisy oh. foot getting dropped. Uh, well, that's fixed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dire Wolf. The Dire Wolf now also getting wrecked. 
Uh, he's has he been halved? Yeah, he's been halved. He's got one Goss and one ER or two ER large left. And still poking around. Dervish, maybe finishing him off. And yep, there you go. Got our Goss gonna go like three, two, one, bang. And there we go, back shot. <laughs> Next backshot is death for him. Uh, Hunter's definitely taking a lot of damage. Ooh, nice, but, uh, nice kill, nice CDU kill. CDU getting dropped down. Oh, he gets to drill the Darvish okay. really hard. He needs to... Oh. Darvish gets some direwolf. Fire started getting the Warhammer. Yeah, they're focusing on uh, the Revan, Revan right now. Three people left. Two people left on CDU. Yeah, five, five, Big flamer, the machine gun. Not something you yeah, like. Being focused. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like that when that happens. <laughs> yeah. You're like 90% heat, you're being flamer, and you hear like a. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, over not, at that point. Uh, the the <laughs> annihilators still stand. Oh, welcome. Well, slow, nice. slow, slow movers, but the damage that they can bring causes pain. Uh, Sean Bomb actually in a slightly different uh, one. He's actually running uh, four AC5s and AC2 and AMS. So he's prepared. I guess he was prepared to deal with any little missiles that may have occurred because they don't, don't usually see AMS in uh, in comp builds. Both of them have this field. It, the difference is that Sean just lost one of his oh. AC2s. Yep, yep, yep. I, mean, I, I see it now. I see it now. <laughs> we got a little more wrecked. It's <laughs> We go it's gonna be a slow and painful minutes i guess <laughs> yeah so we got we, we have uh master pig in the fire start out here who's uh not legged or anything his, le his left leg's open a little bit but he's just gonna be it's, it's time for the, the runaround so they know he was at sigma looks like they're kind of spreading out between kappa and theta now so he'll either have to go right between to avoid him except there's a uav there uh, so yeah, they're probably gonna catch him as he tries to sneak by. He's gonna go defend play that it, I think this is obvious here. Oh never mind, he turned around. I, I feel like he should have gone and uh defend Theta yeah. and try to clutch it. Of course he like uh he doesn't know that that guy's alone there. Oh, he has to UAV oh never mind that minimap UAV well, it's bugged. Yeah, you see, well you've got the shadow shadowhawk holding Theta. I don't think uh you realize he was even gonna get it. Survive that. Here we go. Toe -toe. Clutch, clutch. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I, I think the clutch dream is over already. Shot the Annie, and now the Annie's staring the angle. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be like one click into the wrong component, and it's over for the first order. And yeah. the other first order is, is going in like a yep, here you go. rabbit yeah. dogs coming. Bang, 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 bang. Here we go. Flamers and. Machine guns singing. Oh. Oh, there you go. They're doing the dance. There was flamers just cooking it. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Now it's over. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he, he almost clutched the uh, ember to death. Yeah. Both legs red, but then he shut down. Ouch. Of course, you really like no can do probably out of cool shots at this point of game at that point you override you go go for go for the kill might die at the same time but hey it's all right ggs oh look at that dervish farming also dark farming on cd side <laughs> yeah oh very much so holy crap the, 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 the lv2 spam from crypto nicely <laughs> nice damage output okay this is a rare moment where like uh well, you do like less damage than your ping, but it's like 1000 damage less than your ping. Yeah, wow. Uh, That's what I mentioned. I saw a nice noisy foot bouncing around a bit. There you go. Ping 1352. Why that? Like a... uh, when the combined damage of your entire team is lower than your is uh, lower than your ping. <laughs> wow. Time to contact contact your ISP and say, "Yo, dude." <laughs> Or maybe it was on purpose. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Difficult to hit. Okay, nice cheat. Nice cheat. They might want to come 
for an after talk or interview or whatever you call it. Uh, crypto, yeah, the, the interview. Yeah, Crypto expressed the desire to do this uh, before we started. There you go. Yeah. Well, but, I know Crypto likes likes to do the interviews. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. He, oh, okay. There we go. He's a dropship. I'm going to drag him. But right now. Right. Yo, my man. What's up? What's up? Hey, it's good to see you, man. Uh, well, thank you all for hosting this thing. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining it. Yeah, let me get player unknown in here. Hey, hey. First of all, I want to say, even though this was 5 0, not in your favor, but I must say there were like a couple of games like really close that like they could have like went completely the other way if like a certain things happened. So. Yeah. Don't 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 feel bad if you are feeling bad, but uh, don't don't feel no, bad. That, that was really good, a really good set. Yeah. So you have to understand that uh, CDU. We have two teams. Uh, we have Team Team America, Team Alpha here, and then we have Team Bravo Bandits. And Team Bandits, our comp team that you have to try out for. Team America is open play. That means anyone in CDU can play, and we want them to play. And this is this is our way to introduce them to comp. And uh, so a lot of a lot of people here don't even have uh, they're only a month old and some of them only have uh, three, four mechs. Uh, so it's it's interesting, uh, but it's the, the, the good part is that they get to play with a the team. They get to come up with the planning and then, you know, learn how learn all about comps. And that's and that's what it really is. So we didn't expect to win a game. But what we want them to do is just learn how to play and just to see the competitive nature of it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, uh, I, I'll, I'll say, I have total respect for that because we, of course, we want to see, you know, a lot more players uh, coming to comp. Um, the, the more we have, the better, the funner it gets, the better it gets, um, and like you said, it gets them a taste of what it is just to, you know, just to see how it all gets put together. Yeah, so, yeah. Thank you, I, thank you for doing that. Yeah, and then they they're not good right now, but the next season, for example, uh, then they go to Team Bravo uh, Bandit, and then they join those guys and play with them and then uh, team band at some time they get recruited by other units uh, we encourage that in cdu we encourage people to move keep moving up uh as they get echelon we have a lot of former cdu in other units uh that in comp so we encourage that and i think it's good for the community uh like these guys here this is the first time they're just excited um you should see i mean they're sending email to their parents and uh um, you know, your links, MW uh, League links to their families and stuff like that, because they're just, they, they're just happy that they're playing some kind of eSport, you know, tournament, you know. Yep, yep. Hey, uh, Mr. Player Unknown. What's yo, up, what's up? Yo, yo, okay, first of all, let's get, like, the question, the, like, the elephant in the room out of the way. Are you the same guy as the guy that made the big game? No, no, no. Ah, damn, I, I thought I was going to make friends with a millionaire, but okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, you know? Yeah. Well, well, maybe you are actually uh, like a millionaire in real life, but not, not the same guy. But anyway, uh, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. You know, pretty good event. Was it fun? Oh, yeah, it was very fun. Most of our team is like fairly new to this. Maybe you have one or two, maybe three guys with a little bit of comp experience, but... We just did this to have fun, you know, just see what it is, get our feet wet. Yeah, I have to say that, like, um, on the Canyon drop, I I didn't say it on stream, but I had, like, this feeling that, wait a minute, these guys might be Smurfs. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, like, uh, there, there was, like, a, a pretty good execution on the push on the Canyon. Like, thanks, if, thanks. Yeah, like, even if, yeah. like, uh, there was, like, perfect positioning on CDU, even if that would have happened, it would have been still like really hard to deal with. I mean, yeah. we, we practice Kenyan Network in different scenario. We we expect a range fight, um, but then once I saw him push, uh, I tried to move the two annihilator up, but it was too late. You guys already came over the crest, the hill, and it, it, at that moment is when I realized, man, I wish I had ballistic annihilator because I could have stopped you with a ballistic annihilator, but not with laser and you just rush us you just overwhelm us pretty quickly and that's that's really that was the game and i think that was a really good tactics that's the one thing that we we didn't expect you to do we expect you to do everything else other than that 
I'm black. <laughs> And one of the things with comp is you'll see that a lot where, you know, you even if you've played team teams in the past, um, you know, you get a, get some strats going down, there can you, you the, to be able to have an audible, they can counter everything that might happen is impossible. Yep. But, you know, so yeah, it gets very much challenging. Well, we practice, I mean, we practice with uh, the JGX guy, TSLL guy, uh, a whole bunch of other units came and support us and train with us. And every single one of them, uh, pretty much did the range fight, and uh, so we like we didn't expect that at all. And I I, I thought that was that was kudo on the, on their part to to do something out of. Uh, I suppose this like occasion was left like you invited like uh, random people from different units to like play against you, just like that. Yeah, we we do we we. Uh, we have training all the time, and we invite unit other units uh, to come and fight us, and, um, and and it's good practice for us. And and what we learn over time is is that it was probably best. Uh, we our game plan was to take theta and put all our firepower in theta, and um, and and essentially a range fight. We we built for range fight, and uh, but they end up brawling. I think. So that's that's essentially once once they start brawling, I re, I realized real quickly that the we just don't have the, the the firepower to to repel them. So I was I, I thought it was I thought it was really well done on your part. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah. The uh, uh, the second map. Um, what was your what 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 was your strategy? I was just curious at that part. On the second map is just send the lights out to see what they can see and just wait. Yeah, so we caught you by surprise. I dropped artillery strike and yeah. so my guys don't know how to use artillery strike. We practice that and and we practice it, but they didn't do it. So I told them, I said, drop artillery strike, airstrike, because you're all together and I had yeah. the die wolf and I, sh I was just shooting at you. Um, we, we were just not coordinated. I think if we were coordinated and took my firepower, we would have, we would have wreck that whole group yeah yeah it was good it was good though good fight though good fight yep and um so i i, I we didn't expect that at all wow that was just you guys like all in that area we didn't know so that was that was an our favor we just couldn't execute it we we would have win if we executed well because you you were just all lumped together uh so it worked out um in in map three, uh, man, we thought you're gonna, for some reason, we, we rolled the dice, we said, it's 50-50, either you're gonna be in the water or you're gonna be on land, so one or the other. And if you're in the water, so up to this point, you pretty much rush all, both time. And on yeah. the third one, we kind of do an audible and kind of like, hey, we're gonna rush this thing. And- um, and We flipped it on you. Yeah, and you flip it and you went laser and then we, we, we got, sh yeah, so, uh, you went long range, so we you took us out before we even got to the fight. So you did good on that. For sure, for sure. You guys did good too. Yeah. What do you think of the uh, map four Grim Plexus with the LOM? <laughs> this is this is one of the things that I like about playing with new players. You know, uh, because they came up with the idea and they said, you know, because new players love LOMs, and uh, and I told them LOM is not a viable option, but however. Uh, I said, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. You know, you can't just. Dude, that was so funny. <laughs> that, yeah. that, I, I we got it on camera when that uh, first victim fell. <laughs> that was so funny. You, you, if you got the time, you have to rewatch it. it was like, okay, getting leg legged by Lerms and then like he's already like behind like a big rock and he still dies. I, I think it was the Arctic <laughs> Cheetah on the side of the, uh, yeah. the side of the middle. <laughs> So yeah, no, no, I got I could uh, I got crypto. I got to give you kudos. Seeing seeing the wrath, uh, it, it be coming in with the you know the quad LRM fifteens. I love I love learn boats. I, I've always enjoyed learn boats. But seeing, of course, my my favorite, of course, being just Fafnir in general. But seeing the wrath coming out, I was like, oh, this is gonna be nice. And I started noticing everyone. Else, there's learn boat. Oh my god, we got learn learn again happening. This is gonna be great. So you know, I I purposely put myself in a sky view just to watch watch it go across, and that was enjoyable. I'll tell you that right now. I enjoyed watching the learns. <laughs> yeah, I uh, we enjoy practicing. Uh, so when we practice against TSLL, they uh, they did the exact same thing. Uh, we rushed them. I mean, they rush us, and then uh, they they did exactly the same thing. They just 
just gnarly. We thought we could have compensated by uh, one of one of the audible that I was going to do was that my uh, I was going to switch to uh, more brawly. So when they do rush the lum boat, I can at least defend my guys. But then I, I decided to just go all lums because that was the game plan to go all lums. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, what, what do you guys think? It w- would have been possible. I mean, what they did exactly what they supposed to do, which is rush. And, and you think it's well, a viable option? But one of the things that me that me and Kong both uh, t- talked about during that and then agreed on um, is that you ha- you need to have protection for your learn boats. No, no matter what you do, no matter you know, everybody else, yeah, you know, if you've got you know, however many learn, learn boats, you have to have protection for them because as soon as your enemies see that you're learning, those learn boats are going to get focused and pushed at some point. And if you've got no protection for them, um, they're going to get taken out pretty quick. Especially you know, of course, IS, you know, you got the you know distance of uh, you know once once you go and you hug a learn um, an IS learn boat. Uh, yeah. They're kind of dead in the water, but yeah. In the in the case, of what happened there was that that match. Um, they were able to focus learn boats, you know, your learn boats, and uh, take take them out pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There was like no other threat other than learn boats, and I think I also mentioned it during the stream that, uh, for example, if you would have had two machine gun lights instead of the ravens and yeah. if you if you still wanted a narcs you could have like uh, had black lanterns with machine gun small pulls and narc would have been pretty nice so you you think it's possible yeah Wait, yeah this of is course. okay okay yeah yeah it, it was one of those things that was built and uh you know when we test it with ghosts ghosts like it you know, but he, he, uh, so he thinks it's viable you can do it uh but the 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 question that we still we couldn't answer was that how do you stop a, a a rush you know which they did and we still couldn't kill them fast enough. Well, the machine gun lights, for example, would have been the answer to that. Right now, you had two ravens, which were pretty much unarmed, but they did provide narks. Yeah. Could have been replaced with like the black Lanterns doing DPS and narking, and then you had a phoenix hawk. I think it was uh, medium pulse. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was medium pulse, and that's not exactly stopping power because it does heat cap fairly fast, pumps sure. like 80 damage before you're like already overheating. It's more like a skirmisher instead of like brawl out of like stopping power mech, and uh, the Arctic Wolf was like uh, it was uh, in the right direction. I think that can stay if you want to have it, since like that SRM. But scratch is always <laughs> pretty nasty. Yeah. Honestly, I, I was worried to get narked the whole time. I was like, "Fuck!" And shoot, you know, if they if they narc me, I'm I'm done. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude you <laughs> died behind a building. <laughs> that was yeah. Funny. Did, did, you, did you die? Uh, yeah, yeah. I went I went after that LRM boat. That was the first target for me. I'm just going for it, and I got him out the game. All right. That's that's awesome. Uh, for real, re- uh. Viridian Bog. I thought that was our best game um, uh, from my perspective because we uh, we were coordinated. We were shooting the targets. Um, man, it was it was a pretty f- uh, hairy fight between a Die Wolf and Annihilator. We were just shooting each other. So I'm, I'm an ultraviolet. I don't know who the Annihilator was on the other side, but we're essentially just point blank shooting each other the whole time. And, um, and yeah, so it, I thought it was pretty f- Pretty good fight. At one point, um, we we had a game plan that if we can get more than four kills, or we we should be able to retreat, but we couldn't retreat. And because we won, uh, I, I forgot who uh, what unit we play, so a higher tier unit. But we actually beat them using the same strategy, uh, but we beat by points because essentially you gave us theta, gamma, and epsilon, and uh, and once we reached the five hundred mark points, we just retreated. But you guys never gave us a chance to retreat it, and uh, so that constant push kill us. And the only person alive was happened to be uh, Master Pig. And uh, but if, if we have two mechs alive, if we, your five starter was already dead, I think we might have a chance of winning by points. Yeah, yeah. yeah the hard part that I said what I was seeing um, for CDU side uh, is once hunters drop down off of the uh, the Echo Five hill um, and pushed right into Delta Five. Um, yeah. They started going right up the ramp and just hitting people who were poking over the top of there, um, and it was just it was just you know whittle, whittle each one down and take them out one at a time domino effect. 
Yeah. So the, the, the focus fire on, on on you know on that part helped a lot with hunters for they said going into the delta five uh the delta five hill what you 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 went to echo five uh you went to the middle we went to delta five uh did did you adjust after that i mean what what was your strategy Pretty much was just to get up there in Echo 5 and see what we see. The moment we saw you, we just started shifting over towards you guys. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, originally I was, I was expecting to just see some, you know, some long, you know, sort of mid-range brawling happening between the two hills. But like I said, once Hunters, I was like, wait, Hunters are dropping down. They're pushing on a Delta 5. And as like I said, from there, the, once they got to the bottom of the steps and just started going up the hill, it was, they said, just domino effect with everyone that was, you know, a couple that were at the very top of the Delta Five Hill, and just going around the corner and finishing people off. Yep, yep. No, I I agree. Well, first of all, th thank you, you guys, for hosting, and this is a great introduction. Like I said, all these guys, I we have almost thirty people in in CDU Team America, and they're all pretty new, except a few players like myself and and other. But uh, they, it's it just it's just great to introduce them to comp and get to play. And uh, I I told them I said we're gonna get better because this is our first game because we're gonna keep working our build our build our planning, and then after that we just gotta keep practicing. We gotta get airstrike, artillery strike, all those things. Um, you know the totality of it, things that you don't see in quick play, um, and then and then that will that will uh, you know. Eventually, we'll get a win. Yeah, the the communication in comp becomes critical, um, and being able to you know, I'll call out what you're seeing, uh, being able to you know, you know, get Overwatch and seeing what's happening, you know, who's coming in right away, and be able to you know, see that immediately, um, and adjusting to it is interesting. Having this being my third year doing comp uh, in some fashion, yeah, I'm seeing it a lot, and yeah, it's a uh, it's stressful, but fun. It's, it's it's fun stress. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, unless you guys have any question for me, I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's four a.m. <laughs> are, are you guys are you guys streaming the next game? Uh, well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I don't oh, know. I don't. I, I don't have a cast until uh, tomorrow, uh, ten ten a.m. Pacific time. Uh, I've got the uh, two to eight match that uh, two to eight versus. Um, bear with me, uh, Legil Six Ferrata, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, another team I'm, I've not met or not seen before. Um, it's like the Fjordlands, first time I've seen you guys. So uh, again, welcome to Comp. I, I love seeing new people in. Crypto, I know you bring you know, new players into it. I love seeing that. Thank you for bringing everybody in. Make sure that they all they, you know spread out, spread out, and tell them, okay, come check all the other comp matches that happen. Uh, keep an eye on the MW League's channel, uh, MW Comp Discord. Uh, we do try to get everything posted and announced so they know, hey, match is coming up when they're coming up. Um, but yeah, you can see strats from all the different divisions, and you'll you'll see a difference between you know Div A and Div, you know, and then the other divs. Um, it's be interesting, you know, that, like I know Kong has mentioned it, where Div A, yes, it, 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 they, they they take much different strats. They take a long period of time in between the matches, um, but you see things differently. Where you go to Div C, Div D, where oh, boom, they're ready to go. Boom, ready to go. Let's go. So it's it's interesting. It's seeing the difference. Uh, I have to say about that that we take a long time because we don't plan anything ahead. We just join the lobby and then, well, oh, wait a minute, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Almost five minutes. We gotta go, go green. We gotta go. Oh no, they're yelling us at us again about the time. <laughs> hey, hey, it happened again today. Like. I think it was like mentioned twice, uh, like between rounds. That hey, you're out of time, yeah. dudes. <laughs> yeah, I, I did notice we did have a couple discon or we had what, one disconnect earlier. Um, I know one of uh, one of the team members was uh, having a very, very, very high ping during that last match. I think it was like thirteen hundred and fifty ping or something around there. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so no like, easy. Yeah. yeah, it happens. It happens. So well, but, this yeah. this is what happened when you. Uh... You encourage. Uh, I, I'm I'm so happy that you are broadcasting Division E because a lot of time you always want to broadcast the Division A and all the top players. But if you want to grow the community, if you want to grow the game, you got to give new players same love, uh, some love too. And so because right now, you know, you, 
word of mouth, I mean, at least 10, at least 10, 15 people uh, just between our two team here uh, that that's in love with comp now. And you can see more people will want to play comp, not, not necessarily in CDU, but some other unit, but they, they want to play because this is exciting, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I say, I know, you know, when I'm trying to cast, I try, since I, I work a normal eight to, you know, eight to five, or wait, like an eight to five job throughout the week, and, you know, I've got my normal streams that I do, and then it's like, okay, I need to cast stuff. Okay, when can I get cast that aren't, you know, like two in the morning or, you know, some time that where I'm already working. So, I, yeah, I, I love trying to get in and cast in here, all the matches I can. So I'm doing one tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's challenging. We're, we're, I know we're getting more casters in. Um, we had Bear Claw cast earlier, so it's nice to see him back and doing it. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, we get a lot more casters and get all the matches cast as much as possible. It's awesome. Good, good, good on you. Oh, hey, well, with that, uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, yeah well, just want to say uh, thank you all for being a part of this. Appreciate you all for making this happen. So just thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, thank you. My man, see ya. Be safe, guys. Yep. There goes Crypto, and there goes Mr. Player Unknown. Not the real player unknown, but the real no, one. The other, the, the, yeah, he, he is the real the, one. The, 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 alter, the alternate player <laughs> unknown. <laughs> yeah, well, well, they're already gone, but I want to say that about that, like, crypto brought up, like, the casting div E and, like, low divs thing. I actually, like, whenever I cast, I try to prioritize the low ones because I feel like, uh, uh, like, the, well, of course, like, in lower divs, you have, like, old parts, and, but I think, feel like, like, the new bulk of players is in like the lower divs and why i try to prioritize these is that i feel like they appreciate it more than like the old farts in like the high divs of course they do appreciate it but uh if you like don't cast their game they're like eh. when yeah, like dude. when like the first timers <laughs> are probably excited to see themselves on tv but then like, right they, right but of course like the excitement like dropped to zero as soon as they like hear me being cringy <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> but they're divay they expect that from you right um <laughs> yeah. no, no i i and i enjoy watching you know say watching all the different divisions and you know uh, casting all of them i mean it's always it's always fun to figure out what they're doing because you never know the strats that happen between the different divisions can uh be night and day well yep uh uh i'm gonna call it quits now uh they yep. I want to go to sleep and yep, go here, enjoy well, your night. of course, of course, like those dudes, two dudes are already gone, but I want to wish them good luck next week. Yes. yes. And good luck to you. Of course, you don't need it. You're so good at the game. So you're just, you're, you're just going to stomp the enemy. I, I, I had the second highest damage from the bottom uh, during the Grim Plexus match that I was doing today. But yeah, again, we did a brawl. We uh, we got we went 8-0 against them uh, on that mat, on that drop. And it was just, it was, a, it was a perfect, it was a textbook uh, brawl push. It was wonderful. Nice. So, and of, of course, of course, uh, I'm not going to wish myself good luck. Uh, uh, not because I'm narcissistic, but uh, 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 it's because I don't need luck because I'm so good at the game. Man. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and that's the reason why you, why you ran us last year. It was great. Oh, wait, it was, it was one year ago. I don't, I don't even remember how long it was, like how long ago it was. It was the last ISC. It was not, last not, year. not this yeah, year's yeah. ISC. It was last year's ISC. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it was only one year. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, a little over a year ago now, technically. I, I thought it was year. like forever ago. Yeah, beginning of last year. I guess one year is forever ago. Feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but anyway. on, go, 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 go get some rest, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try and keep an eye on being pinged for. Hey, you want to join in? Because yeah, yeah, I yeah. totally missed it. My man, my man. Thank you for coming. Have a good one. My main my man. Okay, GG's <laughs> everyone, and goodbye.